when Melinda's a little girl and she walks into the funeral home and sees the man in the coffin and then the ghost is sitting next to her. All of that was inspired by the stories that Marianne had told us when she was a little girl. James von Prague had his own television uh, daily show at the time and he asked me to come out to Oklahoma City to do a house out there and it just worked on him. She was a dog groomer and a mother, and she was married to a former Marine, and she lived in Ohio. She was absolutely the salt of the earth, a, a, an every person, which was great to build you know, a character for a series for CBS around an every person who is accessible and at the same time has a special gift. After we pitched the show, pitched the characters, John pitched the story for the pilot, we said, let's call Mary Ann Winkowski in Cleveland and bring her into the pitch. So we got her on the phone, put her on a speaker, and while we were talking to her about her experiences, she said on the phone in Cleveland, there's a file cabinet in the corner of your room. There's a dead plant there that you should either water it or get rid of it. We all looked at each other and there it was. There was a dead plant sitting on that file cabinet. And Marianne was so specific about the physicality and the geography of the office of where the ghost was standing and what the ghost was doing and how the ghost was looking, you know, at these pictures next to the file cabinet. I think it was at that point we sold the show. <laughs> Pilots sit on shelves for years. He said, don't even get your hopes up. And I said, okay. But then they said, go, buy, do it. And so here we are going into our fifth season.